Hello everybody, this is John from Nevermore Antiques, and I am going to show you some of my latest finds from Goodwill. Um, not really been a whole lot of stuff at the Goodwill lately, um, but I found some interesting stuff. Uh, a lot of stuff that I buy, I list uh, either on the local Bicel trade pages, or um, I list through eBay, or I put them in my antique booth. Uh, and this is one of the items that I found. It's a neat little jug. It's actually a, uh, it's actually a beer jug. I really, I'm not a big fan of alcohol, but it's a cool jug. Um, and people buy them. We use them to store like beans and stuff in. I paid a buck for it. I can take it to my booth and probably put four dollars on it, and um, and sell it. People like it. They'll like it because of the logo, the logo on there. Um, it's kind of cool. I actually picked up two of them. Um, let's see here, I got a really cool, uh, Twister Moves, that's really cool, I paid two bucks for it, it's actually got a CD in there of Jesse McCartney, it's a two disc CD, um, it's really cool, um, I think that, uh, I think that it'll sell pretty good, uh, there's a couple comps on eBay for like 14 bucks, but this one's brand new, it doesn't even look like the, uh, 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 the dance mat's ever been unfolded because I mean it's in that little blue clamshell. I would wouldn't imagine how hard it would be to get that back in there. <laughs> I bought this. This is kind of cool. It's Foster Grant All Terrain Eyewear. It's a nice little uh, glass case. You can put it on your uh, if you're out hiking or something. You can put it on your belt. You paid fifty cents for it. That's really cool. I haven't looked it up yet, but. I know that Foster Grand stuff that it sells really good. Um, I got a couple toys. Um, they'll either go. Uh, they'll either go on my. Uh, they'll either go in my booth or maybe they'll sell on eBay. I'm not sure. I got a Triceratops and a Pterodactyl. This is really cool. It's wings fold out. He's a pretty big toy. It's pretty cool. I like that. And here's the um, Triceratops. I think that um, you will. Uh, I think I think they'll do pretty good. I paid fifty cents a piece for them. Like I said, no, I'm not going to get rich off of it. It's missing some stuff. It's missing the little rockets that shoot out and the uh, Triceratops. He's just they're Fisher Price. They're from 2011, um, so they're they're pretty cool. Um, Hello Kitty, little tin. It's a bank. It's got a plug at the bottom. It was originally five fifty. I paid fifty cents for it. That's something that I'll throw in the booth for like three bucks, three fifty, and um, people love Hello Kitty, so you know, I'll sell that pretty good. Got a little, a small little dent in her face, but um, it'll, it'll do pretty good. Here's something that is definitely a bolo. Um, I buy a lot of shoes, and um, I picked up these uh, curves. They're the uh, the walking shoes. They need to be cleaned up. There's there there are a lot of white to them. <laughs> There's a lot of white to them. So yeah, and the bottoms they were filthy. Like I'll have to clean all that up. Uh, but the uh, if you look at the toes, they're clean. It's just the leather uh, around the toes that are scuffed up. But Magic Eraser will take a lot of that off. Um, really good shoes. Really good shoes. Uh oh, my dog's barking. Um, another item that I got here is a <clears throat> smart labs it's a light switch it's brand new um, really nice still in the original packaging um, I buy them and um, I uh, sell a lot of these on eBay if you ever find the electrical stuff that's definitely worth purchasing um, this is the 600 watt dimmer switch, and I don't know, it probably sells for uh, 10 bucks if you bought it new, uh, maybe a little bit more. I paid a buck for it. I just picked it up um, just to see. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see real quick because I am kind of kind of curious. Let me see. Let me just see what it sells for I got a mean little kid walking behind me he is mean he is a mean child let's see what comes up 
Um, wow. Uh, this switch, it looks like it sells for $44.99. $44.99. Some of them sell for $20. Eh. Um, yeah, but I'm thinking this model here. Let me see if I type in the, the number what comes up. You're going to have to bear with me, folks, because I'm... Um, 25 bucks. 25 bucks and 12 25 shipping. Uh, four of them, a guy selling them for $154 for four of them. Um, this is a smart lab, so this switch here can be operated by Siri for a buck. That's what I found. Uh, looks like one's $59.87. Let's see what go to completed. Um, 6476D. There's one that sold for 16, 21, 20, 20, 25, 35, 43. Four of them sold for 154, 30. So that, that was a good find for a buck. See, that's what I'm telling you. You always got to think outside the box because <coughs> that's a good find. <coughs> good, good find. I'm happy for that. I, I had no idea we found that out together. Um, I picked this up because we're always doing shoes so it's a new balance uh shoe cleaner uh paid a dollar for it it's brand new or if it's been used it's very little it's still got a lot in it paid a buck for it so it works out it'll work out pretty well um i don't want to lose that i love these big goodwill bags you see that they make really good storage bags trash bags whatever um I found this. Her hair is pretty crazy, but <laughs> she's got the crazy hair. I'll have to comb through it. But she, I found one like her. She's got a little cell phone. Um, her hair is horrible, but um, there's one like her listed for forty bucks. I paid three for her. Um, she's kind of cool. Got the little pink shoes. But if I can get the hair laid down, that'll that'll be a good little item to list. I'll list mine for like. 25 or something. Um, let's, I bought all of these. This is a bunch of dinosaurs and cows and it's all of Noah's Ark. Deer. All kinds of stuff. Look like zebras, lions, rhinoceri. All kinds of stuff. And I paid six bucks for this. This whole thing. I'll take them out and what I'll do is I'll set them up I'll set them up and like take pictures of them. And people buy that stuff. They love, 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 love that stuff. Um, I got this cool nesting doll. It'd be cool, if, but she's she's barren. There's nothing inside of her. But she's pretty. Like I think that somebody will want her, and uh, I think that she will. Uh, I think that she'll sell. Uh, you got stuff all over me. This stuff gets dirty. Um, I got this uh, pipe stand, smoker stand. It's got the place in there for your tobacco. Um, you paid three bucks for it. It's kind of cool. I think it'll sell. That stuff's really, really popular right now. Um, got a couple cool glasses. This one sells for about ten bucks. Kentucky Fried Chicken. The Colonel, he's real popular right now. It's from uh, Forest Park in St. Louis. It's Colonel Sanders Balloon Racing Team, 1978. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Excuse me. That's really cool. And then I have this Alvin glass. I just like Alvin and the Chipmunks. He's cool. This is from 1985. <clears throat> and it sells. It doesn't sell very well. <clears throat> but it's still pretty cool. Probably go to the booth for a couple bucks. Um... Got this Tom Tom. Paid six bucks for it. I still need to test it. Take it out to the van. Make sure that it turns on. Um, I got this uh, Sony AM FM uh, Walkman. That's super cool being Sony. I need to test it as well. But like Sony stuff is always hot. Um, it's kind of scuffed up a little bit, but it's still pretty cool. Um, I got the little kitty cat. That's kind of cool. Paid 50 cents for it. It's uh, Staffordshire, England. 
Um, I don't know, 50 cents. People like cat stuff, and that's something that they can set and, I don't know, stare at. Um, I got a couple of these. They're, made, they're from Princeton, Indiana. They're aluminum uh, candle holders. Put your candle in there, and they're just kind of cool. I like the metal. I like I like metal craft stuff. I paid a buck a piece for them, so two dollars. I think I can get get twenty out of them easy, pretty easy. Um, this goes out to the uh, bargain bearings. Um, some of that green uranium glass. Uh, it'll glow underneath a black light. A little shot glass, kind of cool. It's got some etching on it. I don't know. I'll have to look the pattern up. Find out more about it. Paid fifty cents for it though, so. I definitely, I definitely didn't go wrong there. Um, <clears throat> I got this book, Jonathan Kahn, The Mystery of the Schmita, Schmita, and um, I put that in my booth. I put it in there for about three bucks, four bucks. Uh, the price on it was, um, didn't say sixteen ninety nine. So I put it in there for about four bucks, and somebody will buy it. Pretty good book. I read it. Um, <clears throat> I bought it for full price. Um, Let's see. Now we're moving into. Here's another jug. It's kind of cool. It's a Trailhead Brewing. Kind of cool. That'd be neat. Somebody will like that. Um, moving into some clothes now. Um, I picked this up. It's a Gold Gem. Um, it's really cool because it's. A, uh, it's got the original tag on it, and the tag is just, uh, it's a referral program, so I don't know if they make this shirt. It, it fits me. Uh, I think we're done. I think the uh, buzzer went off. Uh, it's a 2X, so it fit me, so it's for a big guy. So somebody went to the gym that was a big feller that referred somebody. But it's got the tag on there, so I'm thinking you might only be able to get that shirt by referring somebody. So I'm going to do some research. If it doesn't uh, sell for a bunch, I'm keeping it. Because um, it's brand new and I paid three fifty for it, and I like it, and I try not to start going to the gym. So, um, this is a neat jacket. It's uh, iced out. It's a denim jacket. It's really cool. It's got this tag on it here. I like denim jackets. I really do really well with them. This is a medium, so it's kind of small. Um, I paid four fifty for it. The neat thing about that is that Goodwill uses a marker that it marks it, it wipes off pretty easy. Um, it's got it's got the uh, buttons. I like the buttons on it. It's a it's a really good looking jacket. Um, I think that it'll sell good. Um, I picked this up. It's a redhead. It's a hunting vest. It's got the mesh back to keep you kind of cool. It's got the pockets up front. It's the old old like camo from uh, what I would assume to be like the Vietnam era camo so I think it's a little bit older you can kind of tell by the tag that it's not something that somebody wears every day but yet it's it's really worn I mean you're not wearing this to your church you're not wearing it to work you're you're probably wearing it to hunt in so I'm figuring that it's a little bit older so it could be worth something um what else do I got here oh here we go this is uh Chris, uh, Mr. Uh, um, the Ohio Liquidation guy, um, he got me thinking about shirts, uh, golf shirts and stuff like that. Um, this is a, I've never heard of the brand, Johnny D, but it is a Greenbrier Hills Golf Club shirt. It's a 2X. It's really nice. No imperfections in it. Nice color. Uh, real professional. I mean, it's not dark. I think a lot of places... Uh, like you could wear the shirt too. It isn't like bright neon green and stuff like that. Just got a few more items here, people, if you bear with me. Um, I've got another golf shirt. Um, this one is Tommy uh, Amore. It's 2X, Dry Logic. Really nice. Some of these might fit me. I thought about keeping some of them because. I always wear t-shirts like when I go to church this is like what I'm wearing <laughs> and like it'd be nice to have something that's a little bit nicer um, I don't know it's a nice shirt the dry fit I really like it too because it's cool it isn't real hot being a fat guy 
No one likes to see me sweat. Um, I got this. These still sell pretty good, and since I'm from Missouri, I always pick them up, these St. Louis Rams jerseys. Um, this one is number 10, so that's Mark Bulger. Um, he wasn't the greatest St. Louis Ram, but his stuff still sells. He's got a lot of name recognition. Um, but if you're ever out, and if you're local, and you find Tory Holt, or Marshall Falk, or Isaac Bruce, or Kurt Warner, or one of the uh, main guys of the St. Louis Rams that really were just awesome uh, whenever they uh, went to the Super Bowl and stuff, you definitely um, pick those up uh, because they, they still sell. And in fact, a lot of people donate that stuff. And I found some really nice, like, um, on field jerseys, like Reebok, like the, the real nice stitching and the real nice lettering of, like, like Tory Holt and Isaac Bruce. And let me tell you, just because the Rams are no longer in St. Louis, I still love those guys. I remember watching them. I remember, man, I remember those days watching St. Louis football. And, and I just, I loved it. I loved it. I don't know. It's a shame we don't got a football team because I really don't like baseball too much. And we do have a great baseball team. St. Louis Cardinals are they're awesome, but I just don't like baseball. It's so boring. There's no, it, it's, there's just, my wife told me to shut it. There's just no action. It's just, I don't know. You sit there and you watch a guy walk into the box. He swings a stick around. He spits a couple times. He steps out of the box. He steps back in the box. Does the same thing. Pitcher throws the ball to first base. And then the guy slides back in. And then they throw the ball back to the pitcher. And then it starts all over again. And no wonder it takes so long to for a game to get over. Because, I don't know, there's just so much extra stuff that's just not really needed. Um, I think once you step in the batter's box, that's it. Step in there. You need to be ready when you step in. Of course, well, I don't care at all. I wouldn't watch baseball anyways, even if they did go by the rules that I laid down. I'm just not a baseball fan. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a football fan. Um. Anyways, I got this uh, uh, Dry Joys uh, by Foot Joy. Uh, I paid four fifty for it. It's an XL. It's in really nice shape. There are a few real little, little, little just tiny tiny spots on the front of it that you can't even see and this is wide could you imagine like if i had something white like this it would be covered in all kinds of stains i'd be out cutting grass in it or something stupid and it's just beautiful and it's like some kind of like i don't know i don't know like i don't do clothing a lot but um but it's i mean this has got to be worth some money because it's made by foot joy and i've sold some of their shoes before and have done really well with it so I'm figuring this is probably a thirty or forty dollar jacket used, even with the spots on it. So I, I snagged it for four fifty. It was just hanging on the rack, and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna grab that. It's got nice reflective stuff here. So I just grabbed that real quick, and um, and I was pretty happy with it. So, anyways, that's the stuff that I have from Goodwill. That's my Goodwill finds for you for the day. Um, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm not really good at doing all this like i talk a lot and like get you know talk about weird stuff but you'll uh you'll forgive me i appreciate you guys thank you very much uh like and subscribe god bless you and have a good day